Oh yeah. Oh look, it's it set. So we are, this is day, I don't know what day it is. Anyway, we're walking in Seville and this is the, um, what did Ben call this? Huh? All right, I'll have to add what this thing is called, but it's an art installation here in Seville. So this thing is called the Metrosol Parasol, and it's an art installation. And underneath this are some Roman ruins. We're not sure if they discovered the Roman ruins and then built this, or they built this and then discovered the Roman ruins. But the point is, you come up and you walk around and you get some great views of the city. This structure was built by a German architect. His name is Jürgen Mayer, and it's a fairly new installation. It was done in 2011. One other factoid, this is supposedly one of the largest wooden structures in the world. So the, a lot of the support pieces are metal, but the actual panels are wood. After spending some time at the Parasol, we were on our way to the Cathedral of Seville, the big church in town. But on the way to that church, we ran into some small church. This was like an appetizer church. I don't even remember the name of this one. And but if you just did the, the detail, the size of these things, look at the, the carving and the, the woodwork on this thing. It's just so intricate and detailed. So yeah, this was just on our way over to the big church. We happened upon this one. So once again, everything was within walking distance for us. We didn't have to utilize any of the public transportation because everything was pretty close in. This cathedral is considered the third largest in the world, and, and it is, it's just massive. Back when we were on the parasol this morning, you can see it here on the skyline, how it just dominates the, the skyline. The church was built in the early 16th century, and from the records, it looks like it took about 72 years to build this thing. And it just, it just like any of the ones you go to, just the detail work is incredible. And the size and the scope of it, that appears to be the organs, the pipe or the pipes to the pipe organ. And then you can see the detail work on the ceiling is just so intricate. And this part here, this is in the gold. There's so many of these little uh, nooks and crannies, these little side sections to the church. I don't understand what they all are, but there's, there's a lot of little sections and areas. And of course, they also have some of the original the artifacts from the church, the old artifacts on display. Believe it or not is Christopher Columbus's crypt. Interestingly enough, there's some controversy over this. The Dominican Republic claims they have Christopher Columbus's remains and there's been a they've been the countries have been bickering about that for years apparently. And so here's the outside of the church. Once again, the scope of this thing, it was really, really grand. And so for the afternoon, we headed down downtown Seville to the river area. And we were, after having some lunch, we were going to be heading across the river to the Triana area, which is an older neighborhood of Seville. But before that, we, on the Seville side of the river, is this tower thing. It's the Torre del Oro. The tower is in the shape of a dodecagon, which is a 12-sided polygon. The thing was built like in the 13th century. It's, it was a watchtower built to watch over this river, the Guadalquivir River. Here's some of Savia's finest on duty here in the park near the river. So yeah, this afternoon's activity, we were gonna go across the river over into Triana. And what Triana is, it's kind of the considered like a neighborhood more area a neighborhood area of Seville and when we got over there you could tell it it does have a little bit different character it feels a little bit more like you know neighborhoods the best way to describe it people going about their lives it didn't seem as touristy it didn't seem like it had as many of the tourist type trappings and so we walked the streets of Triana for a bit
one thing we came across was their market and that's another hallmark of some of these really big old European cities is they'll have the downtown market where you can go get fresh fruits fresh vegetables and really everything you need it's their version of the grocery store if you will well that night we were going to go to flamenco a flamenco performance and so we stopped and had some tapas and then we headed on over to our venue and then i did this filming not knowing it at the time but that turned out to be our singer and our flamenco dancer sitting on the steps the guy playing with the dachshund and the lady there i didn't know it at the time though i know it at once i got home and looked at all my video i put two and two together so here we are we were at the casa de la guitarra the house of guitars this was actually also a museum a guitar museum and so first there was no filming allowed i we were able to get still photography so we were introduced to our guitar player and he came out and played a little bit for us and then our singer came out and that he sang and the guitar player played and then finally the lady made her appearance and the trio was all intact and so we got treated to some flamenco and here is some bootleg recording of our singer <laughs> So they did a few numbers all together where they were all out there together. We got a, a wardrobe change at one point. And so all in all, it was a pretty cultural experience. It was interesting and it was a small venue, which made it kind of nice. It was an intimate type environment. So we enjoyed our time at the Flamenco. Our last day here in Seville, we've split up from Ben and Amy and Margaret. They took off to Cordoba today. They had a day trip planned. We have a train we're going to catch this afternoon from Seville back to Madrid, spend the night in the Madrid, and we got a plane out tomorrow morning, so our little Spanish vacation is coming to a close. We've had a wonderful time in Seville. We had been to Madrid before, and we'd been to Barcelona before, but this was our first time to Seville, and we really, really liked Seville. It was just a, a wonderful, wonderful little town. We're going to miss it. Well, with our traveling companions off on their own day trip, Kelly and I had the day to spend in Seville. And so we took off that morning for a walk. Once again, that's, we feel like one of the best ways to see these big cities is just to get out on foot and walk around and see what you can see. And what else? Wages and what else? Retirement. Retirement and such. Retire with dignity. So yeah, this thing we happened upon, it was a big deal. There was a ton of people that had turned out for this. It was something to do with retirement benefits or some kind of a, uh, some kind of legislation or something they were fighting over, mostly about benefits. And we continued our way on over. We, headed, we were headed back over to the big park in town. We came across this hotel. This was some famous hotel that Kelly and I went inside and checked out it was very very nice inside very very old school eventually we made our way back over to that plaza de españa and the tile work you can just see more of that tile work they once again this was built for that their version of the world's fair back in 1930s and you can tell they just went crazy bonkers trying to show the world what they could do in terms of their architecture and their tile work We enjoyed our time in the park that afternoon and we also ended up back in Seville and we were had a little bit of time to do a little bit of shopping at some of the stores and then before you know it we did have to head on back to the hotel and gather up our bags because it was time to make our way to the train station. So yeah, like I was saying, the streets are so narrow that the cabs can't get back to where our hotel was and so the hotel nicely walks you over to the taxi stand so you can find your way to a taxi. So when we arrived in Seville it was nighttime and we really didn't get to see too well what was going on so it was interesting to see how they got us out there to the cab stand in the light of day and then 
it was over to the train station we had just a little bit of time to sit around and wait but not too long at all and the train stations are real low-key it's not at all like air travel they don't there's not a lot of security and it's pretty simple getting on and off and we like traveling at this late time of day because that way you can enjoy the day wherever you are and then just use some what might otherwise be downtime to to do your traveling and so we had our approximately two hour train ride back to Madrid and got there we stayed at a hotel right near the airport it was I believe a Hilton right near the airport got got in right around sunset and then the next morning got shuttled over to the airport so this terminal 4 must be new a new terminal here at the Madrid airport it is huge passport control so we did not have a lot of downtime that morning at the Madrid Airport we got there and pretty soon it was time to board our plane on the way back we were flying American and we were flying first class and oh boy what a difference that made we had so much room to spread out and get settled in the seats fully articulated they laid completely flat and it was uh, it was I almost didn't mind flying the 10 hour some out 10 hour some odd flight we had because it was so comfortable and one other thing they had once they turned all the lights down I had gotten behind on my Marvel comic book movie watching and so they had the whole Marvel catalog and I was able to get caught up on lots of movies and lots of reading and for some reason on the way the miles work Kelly using her miles and points and so forth we had to fly back to Dallas which was further across the United States than we needed to fly but that's just the way it worked out so we ended up in Dallas Fort Worth and we had a little bit of a layover there in Dallas and then got on our flight from Dallas back to the Greenville Airport and so our Spain trip had come to a close we had a wonderful time there it was really fun and we will see you guys next time on the road again adios